I was at rock bottom. I was severely depressed, not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and quite frankly, not wanting to be alive again. Having this core belief that generational curses had power to impact the course of my life meant that I was walking in fear. The choices and the decisions that I made in my life were based on fear, but that had to go. And with this came peace. There wasn't anything holding me back anymore. There wasn't anything over me anymore. I felt light. I felt unstoppable and I felt and still feel like I can do anything. Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to live a life of ease and how to have a stress-free life. I've recently done a video on how to live a soft life, which a lot of people resonated with. And I'll link that in the description box so you can watch that if you haven't already. And the reason why a lot of people resonate with that video is that we're all tired of struggling, trying to make ends meet, living paycheck to paycheck, but just feeling like we are chasing our tails. And this was me just a few months ago. I was at at rock bottom i was severely depressed not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and quite frankly not wanting to be alive again and i went to being happy and just being stress-free and content with my life so i really wanted to break down my soft life journey in terms of where i was what i did to become stress-free and become happy and if that's something that you're interested in then keep on watching if you're new here then hello my name is lorraine my channel is lorraine lux and i focus on all things self-improvement affordable luxury lifestyle and also the dash of motherhood if you love all that i hope that you do subscribe to my channel and join the family now i've got whole juices what a lot of people will not tell you is that the key to anything in life is your mind and most specifically an abundance mindset an abundance mindset is a paradigm that there's plenty in the world for everyone from resources love relationships and opportunities but acquiring an abundance mindset is very hard it takes a lot of opening up old wounds digging up those traumas that we have buried taking a deep dive in your subconscious to understand what your current mindset is and what actually helped to shape your mindset and as you can imagine it can get quite messy and if you've been on my channel you know i am constantly advocating for people to do the inner work for people to heal and this is partly because i've got a bsc in psychology with counseling skills so i know how powerful the mind is but just because you've got the keys to the car doesn't mean that you know how to drive it so i had to go on my own healing journey and part of that was going into therapy and this was motivated by feeling stuck feeling stagnant and extremely overwhelmed speaking of therapy i'd like to thank better help for sponsoring this section of the video better help offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you you can talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your convenience there is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that you might not have available in your area you just fill out a questionnaire that help assess your specific needs and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours then you schedule secure video and phone sessions plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential my therapist christine helped me get to the root of my limiting beliefs which we're going to get into in this video you can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime join the 3 million plus people who've taken charge of their mental health with an experienced better help therapist get 10 percent off for your first month at betterhelp.com forward slash Lori Lux 
also linked down below in the description box so from taking my own self-discovery journey i realized that i had a lot of limiting beliefs that i had to heal from and these limiting beliefs were holding me back from being the best version of myself and living the dream life that i wanted and these stemmed from two things culture and surroundings we're about to go deep today okay so when it came to culture it was specifically generational curses and if you're an african descendant that this term is not new to you but if you haven't heard it before a generational curse is also dubbed as an ancestral sin and this is a habit or behavior that's passed down from generation to generation and this is something that i grew up hearing a lot that the women in this family they never get married these people they're always poor these people they never succeed so because this is something that i was exposed to a lot as a child this is something that i grew up believing and this then became a core belief of mine so having this core belief that generational curses had power to impact the course of my life meant that i was walking in fear the choices and the decisions that i made in my life were based on fear this meant that i had a scarcity mindset as opposed to an abundant mindset because my beliefs were limiting me it made me believe that i could only reach a certain level in my life that there were certain things that i could not acquire and certain things that were just not for me okay and it took a lot of uncomfortable conversations with myself it took going back to my childhood remembering those conversations remembering the things that i used to hear about generational curses and understanding how this shaped my mindset into a core belief but once i understood that and i was able to unlock that door okay because it was a very small door to find okay this helped me reprogram my mind this helped me reprogram the way that i saw things so instead of seeing things as limiting and less than i started viewing things as abundant as overflowing and and endless possibilities. The second limiting belief that I had to heal from was my surrounding slash society slash nurture. As a black woman, actually scratch that, as a black immigrant women there weren't a lot of black immigrant women that i was seeing who were successful i'm not saying that they aren't any but i'm just saying what was exposed to me and this again played into what i believed i could achieve and what i could have so once i got my two degrees got my career bought my house i was just like is this it because that's what i thought i had to do to find true happiness to be successful but once i reached those goals and achieved those things i still wasn't fulfilled i still wasn't a hundred percent happy i still wasn't living a life of ease i still wasn't stress-free if anything my life was more stressful because i had more responsibility i had less time to myself and just that realization of is this it can be very crippling the realization of this is what my life is going to be like for the next 30 to 40 years honestly was crippling and demotivating one of the saddest things in life is you could have everything that you have wanted in life and still feel unhappy and that's the point that i was at in my life because of what i grew up seeing and being told that for you to be happy and to be successful you have to do these things but once i did these things and had these things why was my life more stressful and this is one of the other things that prompted my self-discovery and self-love journey to actually get to know myself and to understand what true happiness meant to me what true success meant to me and again that realization was just freeing that what made me happy was being stress-free living a life of ease having an abundant lifestyle but most importantly time 
time to spend doing the things that i love time to spend with my loved ones for me to have more time and to live this life of ease i had to be financially free i had to be financially abundant i spoke about some of the money habits that i realized kept me broke in a previous video be sure to check that out the other thing that also helped remove these limiting beliefs is my faith the idea that other people or other forces or other things had power or control over my life just did not sit well with me as a child of God because I refused to believe that I was brought here to be somebody else's servant. I know that my path and my life has already been carved out for me. I just have to be and I just have to believe. I just have to welcome it. I just have to attract it and it will come and not give anything anyone the power to believe that they have control over my life because they don't and with this came peace there wasn't anything holding me back anymore there wasn't anything over me anymore i felt light i felt unstoppable and i felt and still feel like i can do anything i can acquire anything and i just have to tap into that and that's the beauty of having an abundance mindset but we all have limiting beliefs things that are holding us back from having the life that we want and having the life that we deserve so my question to you is do you know what your limiting beliefs are the next thing that i did to have a stress-free life was to stop having a glass half empty mentality I can be quite critical and this is a skill that actually came in quite handy when I was in school and university because my critical analysis was on point when it came to essays and all that kind of stuff but this also unfortunately translated into my life and every time I thought about doing something I already saw 10 reasons why it wouldn't work. This meant that I had a pessimistic point of view without even realizing it. I always used to say things like, oh, I can't do this because of ABCD or I can't afford this because of ABCD. All my thought patterns and even my statements tended to be negative. So saying things like, oh, I hate my life, nothing good ever happens to me. I never win anything. I have the worst luck. That's only going to attract negative energy. And what's going to happen is nothing good will happen in your life you won't attract good things you won't achieve the things that you want to achieve but that had to go and I shifted my mindset in thinking how things could go right and what if this went right and I can afford this and I can do this but I'm not gonna lie to you this is hard and this is something that I have to catch myself on a day-to-day -day basis when I dip back into my old pessimism to be like no 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 we have to be optimistic we have to be positive glass half full this will happen i can afford this i can do this because the energy that you put out there is what you're going to receive and this begins with the mind the thoughts that you're going to have is going to affect the way that you feel about something and it's going to affect what you're going to do or not do about that thing so because i always had a critical mind and i always saw how things could go wrong this meant that i didn't feel optimistic about that thing i wasn't positive i wasn't happy about it and this meant that i didn't do anything about it i had to do a lot of reprogramming mind shifting okay so that my mind could see things as glass half full as opposed to glass half empty and when you start doing this things just start working out for you doors just start opening god and the universe just starts opening doors giving you things more opportunities without even realizing that it's happening because of how you're thinking because of how you're feeling there needs to be alignment between your thoughts your feelings and your actions the next thing that i did to live a life of ease was to be proactive instead of being reactive what are you willing to do to have that dream life of yours? What are you willing to do to have a stress-free life? Because a dream with no action is just a delusion and not the good kind of delusion that I spoke about in my manifestation video. No, 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 no. The delusion that just by wanting something so badly enough, it will miraculously appear. This 
is not magic you have to invest into the kind of life that you want for yourself now this last thing that i'm going to leave you with on this sermon is stop being a know-it-all having an abundance mentality is craving learning and knowledge when you think that you know everything you have already failed you need to have a never-ending thirst for new knowledge and developing the skills that you already have instead of thinking why can't i do this or why isn't this working you need to invest in yourself if you're the smartest person in the room then you're losing there's no room for growth for you to level up and to get to that next level where you're living that life of ease you need more knowledge are you consuming things that are feeding your mind body and soul are you surrounded by experts and people who know more than you they are plenty free resources for self-improvement and self-development on youtube google podcast but if you don't have the time or you can't be bothered to sift through and find the right information for you this is where you invest in experts like life coaches and therapists and counselors who you can actually sit down with and who can help you achieve the things that you want to achieve who can help you unblock all the barriers that you have that are stopping you from having that life of ease from having a stressful life or any thing that you want to achieve in life so stop thinking like you know everything and actually yearn more knowledge and invest in yourself i could talk about living a life of ease a stressful life soft life and abundance mindset for days literally i have been filming for over an hour so like this video if you want to see more videos about that but also it helps this video get shared out to more people who would find this video valuable let me know in the comment section down below what really resonated with you and also what helps you live a stress-free life if you have come all this way thank you so much but do not click off from this video without subscribing to my channel press the notification bell and also watching this video because you also find it just as valuable i will see you guys in my next video bye lovelies